Tens of thousands of people on the South Shore and on Cape Cod are without heat again tonight, and crews might not be able to get their power back on until tomorrow. Yeah, a lot of people are going to spend a third night in the dark. WBZ's Tiffany Chan is on the South Shore tonight with one business that is actually benefiting. Oh, it's, uh, it's really something. It's like the whole tree uprooted and fell down. Crashing through this red truck with power lines tangled around the branches. This is the view in Marshfield, still cleaning up after the week's nor'easter battered the south shore. Just raking and picking up branches and walking out back to check the damage. Much of Pembroke has been out of power since Tuesday. Lots of small. small. The neighborhood pizza shop is among the lucky ones to be back in business this morning, and the phones have been ringing off the hook. So they're coming in now because some of them are hungry. They haven't eaten, and uh, you know, I understand. So we're trying to do the best we can. It's even worse in Plimpton. With 98% of the town out of power, and that number has remained consistent since the beginning of the storm, there's been very little progress, if any. The town's fire chief, Stephen Silva, says efforts by Eversource to restore power are slow moving as the temperatures only get colder. There are people that have not had potable water now for over 48 hours. I'm not sure how we're going to wind up planning that out, but it's becoming a problem let alone heat issues. With downed trees across the South Shore, utility crews high up in bucket trucks are doing the best they can as residents are bracing for round two of wind and rain. We're uh, hoping that the electricity holes and that our pump will uh, bail out the water.